Welcome everybody, I'm Ian Sepperman from Mobile Dev HQ. Uh, we're here today with Ryan Morell of PlacePlay. Uh, welcome. Oh, thanks Ian, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So t tell us a little bit about PlacePlay and how do developers use your app to uh, use your product to monetize their app? Sure. Um, so, so PlacePlay really does two specific things. So one, we provide features that make location and social graph relevant in games. Um, those features include things like location-based and social leaderboards and tournaments, um, have integrated push notifications, um, and a bunch of really great stuff that actually does drive engagement. Um, and we've seen that increase by up to 3x for people that have it integrated in their games. So the, the big benefit of those features beyond engagement, which is obviously great, um, is it gets us access to location and social data. Um, which we can use to provide targeted in-app advertising in the form, typically of banner ads, um, but we'll be starting to do interstitial um, ads as well towards the beginning of the fall. Great. So you talk about location and social being good targeting data. How, did, how does that make a, a more of an impact for a developer than what's currently used uh, traditionally right now? Sure. Um, so a big percentage of the mobile advertising we see today is essentially random, right? Um, so you integrate advertising into your app and you serve whatever an ad network wants you to serve regardless of who's playing your app or playing your game or using your app or whatever it is. Um, so what location and social graph data enable us to do is get to a more fine-grained level of advertising where we can serve you something that is going to be relevant to either where you are located. So maybe there's a restaurant down the street that is interested in connecting with people around them. Of course that makes sense. Or with social data, even if we know male, female, that, that's gonna change things dramatically, right? So for example, and this might be a silly example, but I've played games before and I see, app, see an app ad for like Flower Girl Mania or something like that. Well, okay, that's great for 50% of the population, but not me. Um, so if we have social data, we can, we can cut out the 50% ads that don't make sense. Um, if we have location data, we can start showing ads that are, are relevant to where the user is and, and provide them some value. Um, and that's missing in the vast majority of mobile advertising today. Sure. So, uh, so talk a little bit about what the future of mobile ads look like, in particular what the future of mobile ad uh, targeting looks like. Yeah. So, I mean, I think this is a little bit of a cliche, but everyone's always talked about the right ad at the right place at the right time. Um, and you know, people have been talking about that since web advertising first started, right? And, and, and mobile's really the first medium um, that that axiom has a chance to actually come true, um, where we know where you are, um, potentially. Um, we know what time it is. Um, and in some cases, we're gonna know kind of who you are. Um, so now we can deliver really personalized advertising experiences. And you know, clearly there are some questions about how do you handle the privacy of this and whether people feel sketched out by it. And I think those are valid concerns. Um, but I think people in general um, will forget about those concerns or maybe worry less about them if they're getting some value in return, right? So if you, if you think about advertising from the perspective of, gosh, I just have to put up with this because that's how these people monetize their content, um, that, that's not so great, right? If you think about it in terms of, hey, is there advertising that can actually provide me with value? Then I, I actually like that, right? So, I mean, a really simple example that everyone talks about and knows about is Groupon, right? So the vast majority of the Groupon offers you get suck and you're like, God, I hate this. But then there's those times where you get the Groupon offer and you're like, this is awesome. I, I really want this. And so you go buy it. Um, and, you know, Groupon is essentially an advertising business, <laughs> right? Um, and, and that's really what I think becomes the future of, of mobile advertising. Um, so right place, right time, right person, right? The, the, the second part of this is, at least we believe, is a um, step away from um, continuously shown ad impressions and ad views um, and towards um, showing the right ad only. So instead of showing you, Ian, ads during your entire app experience as a banner ad, um, or every three minutes as an interstitial, um, we'll either have something that's relevant to you or we won't. And if we don't, then we shouldn't show anything, right? Because you're not going to monetize our ads that don't make sense for you anyway. 
Um, so ultimately, that's where I think mobile advertising goes. Awesome. So you were talking about Groupon and how Groupon is basically a big advertising biz- business. How does how does commerce affect sort of the future of mobile ads? Yeah. Um, Today, the only way that we've been able to close the loop with mobile advertising, and it's hard, is with app installs, right? Um, so, it, so it's really hard to know if there's a tangible effect for running a, a banner ad, right? Unless someone installs an app. Um, so w- when we start to get into things like mobile payments um, with location-based advertising, now, now we can start to enable commerce to happen at, at a really local level, um, and we can close the loop, right? And that's super interesting for small businesses, and it's fantastic for users and developers are going to love it too, right? Because sure. they're going to get paid more. So, you know, it's kind of this soft nebulous thing for someone to pay per click or for a certain number of impressions. Um, but if they're paying for something that they know generated revenue for them and a new customer, um, then that's something they're going to put more money into. Absolutely. Right? I think the interesting thing is going to be how, how it all shakes out and whether or not people can actually generate the revenue required to, to support a business. Um, using freemium as a standalone model. Um, we, we've seen and, and we talk to smaller app developers all the time.